Hello, this is lesson 13, module three. Now this is a combination of a couple of pages here. This is page 62 at the bottom. And then earlier in that same lesson 13, this was like one of the first questions given. So it says scientists are studying temperature and weather patterns in the Northern hemisphere. They recorded temperatures in degrees Celsius in the table below as reported in emails from various participants. Represent each reported temperature using a rational number, which means a number that can be written as a fraction, it could be a whole number, could be a decimal, could be a negative number. Um, and we have to order these rational numbers from least to greatest. So least to greatest means we want to look for the biggest looking negative number, which is the worst number possible, all the way to the biggest positive number. And we have to explain why. So as we go through this, we're looking at whether or not each are positive or negative. So first of all, we're going to convert all of these. So it says 8 below 0. So 8 below 0 would be a negative 8. 12 is just a positive 12. Negative 4 is a negative 4. 13 degrees below 0 would be a negative 13. This would be a 0. 2 above 0 would be a positive 2. 6 below 0 would be a negative and a negative 5. So now we have to take these numbers and we have to put them in order from least to greatest, least likely one we want. So we're looking for the biggest negative. So we got a negative 8, negative 4, negative 13, negative 6, and a negative 5. Obviously, negative 13 is the worst we can have. And then our next biggest negative would be a negative 8. So negative 8. Then we have a negative 6. Then we have a negative 5. We have a negative 4. And then we have a positive 12, a 0, a 2. So if this were money, which one would be our next worst to have? Obviously having nothing, and then having 2, and then having 12. And these go the same with temps. So now we're going to look at this bottom question. And this is a little bit different because we want to look at this as pressure as being a positive thing and vacuuming being a negative thing. So... This is just like typical air pressure and vacuuming. Obviously, the vacuuming is sucking stuff up. So that's negative for that stuff. So 25 pressure is positive 25, whereas vacuuming is a negative 13. Six and three tenths, that'd be negative. Um, negative on the seven and eight tenths. Negative on the one and nine tenths. Positive two and a positive seven and eight tenths. And this one is looking for rational numbers and we want to order those rational numbers from least to greatest. So worst case to best case scenario. Um, so I'm just gonna move the dot cam up a little bit. So we have a little bit of space underneath this question. You don't have to write it underneath this question. We probably won't do this one in class anyways. So worst thing we could get, looks like a negative 13. And then we have a negative seven and eight tenths. And then we have a negative six and three tenths. And we got negative, 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 negative one and nine tenths. Now we have the world of positive, 25, two and seven decimal point eight. So we look at that, we're looking at the two is the worst positive. Then we have seven and eight tenths. And then it looks like the only thing we have left is the positive 25. So there you go. That's ordering an integers, negative and positive numbers from least to greatest. Biggest negative to the biggest positive. Thank you. Have a great day. And as always, I love math and diet coke.